Nigeria has one of the largest telecommunication markets in Africa. Its telecoms department is the largest in the information and communication sector. Nigerian-owned Glow, South African company MTN and Indian-owned Airtel are the leaders in this sector. Over the past 15 years, more than 2.5 million jobs have been created by this sector. Although the telecoms industry has contributed tremendously to Nigeria's economy, it has been plagued by a series of challenges like a lack of enough forex to import equipment, immense interconnect debt, destruction of cell towers, double taxation and other issues. The telecom industry right now beyond right-of-way issues, uh, multiple taxation, we've had what we call the capex. Their capex has tripled. Most of the equipment for telecom are manufactured outside this country. They have to buy them in foreign currency. Most of the partnerships they signed with uh, perhaps IHS to maintain BTS's technical partnership were, were signed in dollar terms at a rate of 195 when they logged in the contract. They're still paying. It's gone from 195 to almost 500 to 400 and now logged at 360. So that drains them heavily and it affects their capacity to expand their networks, to maintain and improve their networks, and also to engage, you know, a lot of skilled labor. And that's the major problem. While operators are dealing with challenges that affect them directly, customers are also crying foul over the quality of service, like the incidents of dropped calls, unsolicited calls and messages, as well as poor signal quality. Yeah, most of them, many times, they, are, they, they disappoint a lot. Especially when we are inside this Ikeja computer village market, it's so annoying that you'll be calling and it barely goes most of the times. And you get to know that, not that you don't have your card, not that you don't have the call time on your line, just that you discover that the fluctuation of their incapability really affects you with your clients many a times. I make use of Etsalat and M10. The M10 is unfair in the aspect of even megabytes. The aspect of megabytes, before you just, all of a sudden, they deduct the money. And when uh, you make call to call the other network, they deduct it like very fast. You just imagine what, what is going on. And the aspect of Glow too. Glow is the worst network. I would, I'm sorry to say that. They will just, you, maybe you recharge 200 Naira. Before, all of a sudden, they will deduct money for one subscription or the other, just like that, and so on and so forth. Pertaining to what they normally give, all these messages that they normally give me from each I did not subscribe for it, and they'll be asking me to subscribe for it, like uh, music, music plus and the lights like that. And sometimes they they uh, they may even bring messages like, okay, you know what, we'll subscribe for uh, 50 million era. All these things I don't like. For me, I'm a Muslim. I don't like it. So if I want to do anything like Loto, I know how to go there and do. So not, that, not for them to tell me what to do. Last year, the Nigerian Communications Commission, the NCC, established the minimum quality of service standards to ensure efficient service delivery across the country. Recently, the Commission took its advocacy campaigns to Jalingo, Tarawa State, where it said it will continue to play the role of intermediary between Nigerians and telecommunication companies. They are here to serve us. So you have the right to be served, and you have the right to have one of your money. Where you are right is to free to go, you are not free one. You can go to the house, you are supposed to While the NCC has warned GSM service providers against fraudulent and dubious services, it says it is monitoring operators' excesses and will take up subscribers' complaints. I'm not making a case for the operators, truly. A lot of people need to know that some of the applications they get into actually consumes a lot of data and we need to be conscious of that. I for a long time also didn't know and you'll find out that I will leave the uh, application running and for leaving it running, it's actually consuming your data. The truth is, those things are highly regulated and we get a lot of reports and we check. 
So if you are, if you actually feel that they are not getting value for money, please escalate it to us. That's why we have the 622, which is a toll-free number. Although a lot still needs to be done, the NCC says it is determined to protect consumers in ensuring that they get good quality of service, value for money spent, and protection from unwholesome practices by some service providers. Winifred Ajewale, TVC News.